Let me tell you something about my chakras. My chakras are so open, I gotta change my fucking pants three times a day. My chakras are so wide open that 3,000 Mexicans cross them every day. My chakras... <laughs> Listen, the whole thing about chakras being open, these gaping open chakras, this is all just a bunch of new age bullshit. This is just some fucking buzzwords that are utilized by a bunch of Mick Ashram soccer moms to convince people to buy a bunch of dumbass new age books at the Barnes and Noble. That's all it is. There's no such thing as opening chakras. Chakras are specific states of consciousness and all of these elements, these states of consciousness exist within us all the time. Okay? So, let's say the Vishuddhi for example. The Vishuddhi is your mind, okay? You don't just open the Vishuddhi and suddenly have a mind. You already have a fucking mind. You don't have to open anything to have a mind. It's always present. The Muladhara is the blood body, the material body, this shit right here. I didn't have to open anything to get this. Well, I mean, I guess some shit had to be open to get this, but... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stop it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you don't have to open any chakra to have access to all of these elements of consciousness which exist within you simultaneously. What these people are trying to get at is accessing rooted states within consciousness. Now, until Thyakra Yoga was developed, there was no way to access rooted states with intention in modernity. This yoga school, Ride the Tiger Yoga, is the only yoga school in the world that practices rooted consciousness. This is based upon ancient tradition, but it has been either lost or heavily occulted until now. I'm just running my fucking mouth about it, which pisses some people off, but I don't care. Listen, these fucking people who claim that they have some occulted knowledge that I'm releasing to the public are full of shit. At this point, there's literally no goddamn reason to occult any of this, other than to pretend that you have something that you don't actually have. It's like the fucking French in Monty Python's Quest for the Holy Grail, when they're like, we already have one, we don't need your grail. Ah. That's exactly what these fucking people are doing when they form these occult, occult organizations and they claim they have all this secret knowledge. If they had the knowledge and the power, they would demonstrate it. But they don't. You don't have to open anything. You can access these states of consciousness, yes. You can do that through yogic practices. So, within my school, I guide my students in meditation that roots them in a specific state of consciousness. That means that the world is experienced, the cosmos is experienced through the framework of that specific state of consciousness, which possesses its own energetic nature. The cosmos looks different to someone who is rooted in the Muladhara as compared to the Vishuddhi, for example. These are all like new pairs of glasses, okay? And when you switch consciousness, when you shift, and you're rooted in a different state, the color of the world changes. You're wearing the red glasses when you're in the Muladhara, and everything is experienced through that lens. And then when you shift to, let's say, the Manipura, you're putting on the yellow glasses. Now everything is experienced through the Manipura. And it gets a lot more complicated than that, because you are born with a specific rooted state that colors all experience, you know? So for example, if you're born with a rooted consciousness in the Muladhara, and then you shift to the Manipura, you're going to be acting predominantly from the Manipura, but it's going to be colored by your rooted state in the Muladhara. And it gets even more complicated than that, and I'm not going to talk about all of the complex issues surrounding rooted consciousness in this video, because that's not the purpose, but what needs to be said is that all of these states of consciousness 
They are within you at all times. And you can develop certain maladjustments in these states. That is certainly a possibility. And fixing these maladjustments is not a matter of opening that specific state of consciousness because as I said, it's already present. What you want to do is you want to shift to that state of consciousness and then work through the maladjustments that are present. Now you can fix maladjustment outside of being in that rooted state, but the most effective method for removing any sort of maladjustment is to go directly to that state of consciousness, whether you're moving to the Vishuddhi or the Manipura or the Sahasra or any of the other chakras going directly to that place and then working through whatever issue is present. And you can do that through rooted consciousness and Vyagra Yoga.